Well, we all love horror films. How, how do you, when you approach one to make, write, create, direct, produce, how do you say, oh, I can't just do what's been done a hundred times before, I gotta try something different? How do you break out of a comfort zone and feel comfortable trying something new? Um, well, I guess uh, with Hobo with a Shotgun, um, there were times I was directing Rugger as if he were like a grizzly bear. Oh, you mean Rugger the- Jones? <laughs> Rugger Howard. Woo! As a... Uh, and I, I, to me, at times, I was filming him as if I were like filming a monster movie. Um, like for me, like the, one, the first movie I saw as a kid was King Kong. And uh, when I was uh, uh, making the movie, uh, I was shown King Kong for the first time by my grandfather, who was a big inspiration on me. And uh, he died during the process of making Hobo. And that kind of that was a big Im- influence for me. Like especially while cutting the film, was like. <laughs> cutting it in a way that kind of showed this like hobo as in some way even though he's our hero I wanted to film him as if he was almost kind of like a monster walking the streets uh, but I, I did a short film called Treevenge a couple of years ago and I guess you could somewhat say the trees are kind of like monsters and for us that was just kind of I, I, we were trying to think of something new <laughs> and uh, if you're a fan of the genre you're constantly watching as to what's been done and you're trying to figure out okay what can I do to put my own spin on that. And I think that just comes from really studying the genre and seeing what's been done and what you can do differently. Um, well, I guess <clears throat> my, my films are really, I suppose, about the monster within, really. And, and um, when I came here with The Living and the Dead and started, you know, people started talking about it, everyone was like, yeah, it's kind of weird because there's, there's no monster in the, in the cupboard, there's, there's no kind of stalker, there's no slasher guy. Um, but but it's still you know pretty intense and stuff. So yeah, it, it, it's I, I guess it's really just trying to um, <clears throat> and, and yeah really find out the, the, the darkest kind of depths of what's inside us. And and it's as, as you say, it's not necessarily something that you know people come you know people go to um, you know they've been to hospital and they've been given these psychotropic drugs or whatever. It's it's just really finding out really the, the depths of, of what's cap- you know any human being is maybe capable of given given the, the right or, or the wrong situation. So I guess that's, that's where I'm coming from really. For me it's not so much looking at um, already established monsters and looking at them within the context of, um, of their own genre and looking at them to uh, build on top of uh, other films that have been made. I think you, it's more about looking at, um, at ba- you know, you kind of like, you, you lined them up and there's these three different styles of monster but I think there's, 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 there's below that there's a kind of um, a set of just genuine primal fears. And those are the buttons that you press in horror, or you try and find and press so that people are, are actually afraid. Does, uh, does the uh, proliferation of modern technology make it easier or harder to put your characters or your ideas uh, in danger or to create peril or, or scares when most of us have cell phones or, and can get in touch with anyone in 10 seconds, in theory, or other technology? Yeah, absolutely. That's a really great question. Um, I <laughs> I tried making a movie once, and the and the people just they didn't have their cell phones on them, and that was the question I always got. Like, where were their cell phones? And of, <laughs> of course, it, it just that doesn't work out. Um, especially with teenagers, they're always on their cell phones. I've been on Twitter this whole time. You just don't know, but um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, it, it's a, it's a really big problem. It's something that that we've had to um, identify in all of the movies I've tried to make and um, I think we just need to start coming up with new ways aside from oh there's no reception that's like first first warning sign in real life I'm like oh I must be in a horror movie there's no reception here so. <laughs> um, yeah because phones have stopped murder there is no more murder in the world because of mobile phones <laughs> which is a is a great relief <laughs> so uh, there's that point. Um, and also, uh, just on a purely technical note, cutaways of phones are death for uh, cinema, I think. You know, And having to look at shots of people going, oh, yeah. oh, ooh, oh, hello. It's the, the phone calls come through from someone. You, know, you, you, you kind of want to avoid all that. Yo pienso como él, a mí no me gustan las resoluciones por teléfono y la proliferación de telefonía, digamos, hace que es, complique un poco la la resolución de las tramas. Eh, yo lo que hice fue anular todas las comunicaciones. <laughs> um, I agree with him. I don't like resolution through the telephone. Um, and, you know, when when things, you know, can happen or not through the phone. So what I did for phase seven was just to cut all means of communication. Uh, so that's the solution for me. <laughs>
the good one. <laughs> There's no shortage of female horror fans. My question is, and I don't mean it in a pedantic way, let's talk about it like a buffer point. I mean, why are there not more horror filmmakers who are women? Why is that? Why are there not more? They're just, I mean, the numbers say there should be. Forget, you know, forget any kind of political subtext to my question, but the simple statistics state that there should be more. Why do you think there are? I, I think you've got to actually extend the question, say, you know, hey, you know, I'm sure you know, you know, even more women who like films full stop. You know, everyone likes films. So, right. you know, the question is, what, why aren't there more women directors? Forget horror for a second. Good question. Yes, good um, point. And, and, and I, I think, again, the, the, the same answer is like, uh, I don't know, really. Um, and I, I mean, again, I, I yeah, I, you, you, when you're talking to people, you know, you, usually it's guys like, yeah, I'd like to be a, a director. You don't often kind of come across women who, who do. I, I, I don't know. I th well, firstly, I think it's a very good question because um, I really don't know what to say about it. Um, <laughs> it is unfortunate that it is it, that you know it is a question. Um, and um, but I, I, I like to um, I guess I, I like to always look at. The positive side, which is, um, I, I find, I, I meet a lot of, um, you know, living in Los Angeles. Um, I, I'm sort of um, very good friends with a lot of um, people in the, um, the, the, the sort of the, the horror clique um, that love that are just fans of genre films, and they're always the nicest people. You know, I hate hanging out, hanging out with comedy people. They're so miserable. Um, but <laughs> horror people are the nicest people you guys will ever meet. And, um, and, and, and I'm very happy to report that, um, you know, that it, it, in this little kind of like group, um, that, that, that there are a lot of um, female filmmakers, um, whether or not they, they want to be producers or um, directors. Um, I'm actually starting to see a lot of that change than, than, let's say, when I was a kid. You know, you definitely don't hear that much. And, and I definitely do think... Um, um, in this new generation, um, that um, that you definitely um, see see more girls and, and women that that are more more willing to come out and say yes, I love horror films, I love scary movies, I love genre films, and that's the kind of movies I want to make. And so you know, let's really hope that that continues and, and that 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 will become the, the the next big thing. Very well. I would just like to take a second to just look up and down this panel, and I'm really thrills me that the, uh, that the the horror community and the, under the horror field, there's, I don't think anybody here up here of the filmmakers is from the same country. I could be wrong. But that, 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 that makes me very happy that we have it's such an international community. You know, I mean, it is the Americans, up here. Americans love horror films, but man, not like they do in Spain and not like they do in France. It's true. Maybe, maybe in Nova Scotia, Jay. <laughs> and Great Britain, they have, they, have, they have as many horror festivals in the UK as we have smaller film festivals, so it just really makes me happy to be a part of something that is just so global and eclectic that way.